to file new and open up a new document. You want to turn it to a landscape mode for this particular piece that we're creating and leave the margins as they are at half an inch. For the piece we're creating, we're going to create the same image on both sides of the paper, so we're going to drag these guidelines over to create new margins in the middle so you know where to stop your page in the middle of the paper. First thing we're going to do is create a new text box at the top for a header. I'm just going to type in something weird like this project is fun. <laughs> With the type in place you can change the type of font you have, so I'm going to change it to bold, and you can also change the size of it. I'm going to change it up to 0.60. And then there's all these other options, like if you want to make it all capitalized or anything else you can maybe think of, we're just going to leave it the way it was. Under paragraph you can center it and under here you can even change the type of font you want to any of these. So we'll just go with this random one. That's too big so we're going to have to make it smaller. Too small. Down here you can change the color and for this project we're going to go with red. An example of body text would be this big piece down here and I'll just type in body text. With that selected, you can again make it bigger and change the type of font you have. I'm going to go with bold. Then coming up here and hitting copy. Oh, I'm sorry, that hit paste. <laughs> go to copy. And you can paste it over and over again to show an example of body text. And again, we're going to want to change that to red. Last thing we're going to do on our design is we're going to put a frame around our entire piece using the rectangular frame tool. And we're just going to change the stroke of that back to this red color we had. Just like that. There we go. That's too thin. Oh, I'm sorry. Get that back. There we go. But that's too thin of a line, so we want to go to window stroke and change our stroke up a bit so we can actually see the line. And the last one we want to do is we want to copy everything we just created over to the other side so we can have two pieces of it. So copy, paste, and drag it into the place. Now that our layout is done, we go to File, Print, and you want to print to our Chemo Setter Play Print. pretty press step is you have to fold the plate and punch a hole in it so that later on you can attach it to the offset press. So just get it in there. Hold on. Take our punch plate and we're going to attach it to the offset press. Now you have your stack of papers off the offset press, you're ready to do the final step in your post press, you're actually your only step, and that is to cut it right down the middle at five and a half inches. So you want to set your paper in, punch in 5.5 .5 inches, hit move, good to go, stack it in, two hands away, two buttons, 